I've been working on multi-body simulation now. It's kind of scary for more, for more than 20 years, probably getting close to 30. When I think back to the problems that I was working on in the beginning, they were all almost purely mechanical. Like the power steering example I mentioned before, there was a motor in there, but it wasn't really electrical. They had some very simple equation to describe how the current and voltage contributed to a torque. So anything that was in another domain besides multi-body was all handled extremely abstractly. And that was because there were a lot of very specialized tools for solving specialized problems, be it mechanical, hydraulic, what have you. When I think about working at, on site at auto manufacturers, then coming to MathWorks and working with a wide range of customers, one big thing that's changed is that now these problems that you would have separate teams and separate engineers working on with their own specialized tools, and they just kind of, you know, throw an answer to the other team. They're now trying very hard to integrate those different designs, the mechanical, electrical, hydraulic, what have you, to make sure that there isn't a surprise when you put the whole system together. I mean, especially in um, large complex systems, if you wait till the very end to find, oh, let's see if our designs all work, uh, it's typically a bad thing to happen. We've, we've worked with some companies that work on excavators, and the first time that a lot of these designs will come together is at the very end, well, not the very end, but the first time they're together what's called a mule, like a prototype, where they've got kind of cobbled together mechanical parts, and then the hydraulic system from the last design, and they put it all together, and it's like, this thing can't lift it. It's not powerful enough. And then teams are pointing at each other, they say, well, your hydraulics aren't strong enough. Well, you put the pit in the wrong location. This was common when I started working with multi-body simulation, and now, certainly over time, I've seen these types of problems can be investigated earlier and earlier in using simulation because you can truly combine the multi-body mechanical stuff with hydraulics, electric motors, batteries, that kind of thing. Again, check that kind of stuff early on rather than investigating in separate specialized tools and then just crossing your fingers that when we put it all out in the field that it works.